Algeria's president heads top security meeting to discuss Libya crisis. Algerian President Abdelmajid Tbivoun on Thursday headed a meeting of the High Security Council, APS news agency reported. The meeting tackled developments in Libya and the situation in the Sahel region, the report said, quoting a statement by the presidency. This top security meeting discussed the situation in the region, including in neighboring Libya and Mali, according to the statement. It added that measures have been taken to toughen security along the border, and to give a new impetus to Algeria's role at the international level, including in Africa and the Sahel region. The statement did not provide further details concerning the nature of these measures, but said President T. B. Baun decided to convene a meeting of the High Security Council periodically. This is the first major security meeting that T. B. Baun has headed since the recent death of Army Chief Ahmed Gate Salah. When he was sworn as new president of Algeria, T. B. Baun stressed that Algeria rejects all attempts aimed at excluding it from proposing solutions as part of international efforts to resolve the Libyan crisis. We are concerned above all sides with the stability and integrity of Libya, he added as quoted from Sheenwanet.com. Libya to officially ask Turkey, Algeria, Tunisia for military aid. Libya's interior minister Fafi Bashaga said on December 26 that the internationally recognized government of national accord, GNA, will officially demand military aid from Turkey. Addressing a news conference in Tripoli, Bashaga said the aid will be used to confront the forces of Khalifa Haftar, a renegade military commander, who is fighting the GNA. He alleged that Haftar was providing bases and airports to foreign countries. He reiterated that Turkey, Tunisia, and Algeria will form a joint alliance. There will be great cooperation between Turkey, Tunisia, and Algeria, and we will be in one alliance and this will serve our people, our security the stability in the region. Referring to a meeting between Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Tunisian President Kais Said on December 25, he said, we welcome any initiative that is inclusive of all Libyans as well as any initiative that must be under the auspices of the United Nations. We Turkey and Libya must unite efforts to launch a political process for a ceasefire in Libya, he added. In April, Haftar's forces launched a military campaign to capture Tripoli from the GNA, but have so far failed to progress beyond the city's outskirts. Bashaga described Haftar's moves as blatant terrorism. Earlier on December 26, Erdogan said a motion to extend military support to Libya's legitimate government based in Tripoli will be submitted to Turkish parliament on January 8 or 9. On November 27, Ankara and Tripoli's GNA signed two separate agreements, one on military cooperation and the other on maritime boundaries of countries in the eastern Mediterranean. Since the ouster of late leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, Two seats of power have emerged in Libya, one in eastern Libya supported mainly by Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, and the GNA in the capital Tripoli, which enjoys UN and international recognition. Algeria to buy Russian Su-57 stealth fighter and Su-34 bomber jets. MENA Defense reports that a contract between Russia and Algeria for 14 Su-57 stealth fighters and 14 Su-34 fighter-slash-bomber aircraft is now almost official. On top of these 28 aircraft, the Force Aerian Algerian FAA, Algerian Air Force, is also set to order 14 Su-35 multi-role jet fighters. Next to that, options will be taken on an additional 14 Su-34S and 14 Su-35S that will replace all aging FAA jet fighters. It is reported that the complete contract should be completed by 2025. By then, the FAA will be equipped with an incredibly formidable force of Su-30 MKAs, Su-34S, Su-35S, Su-57S, and MiG-29MS. For training, the country uses the Yak-130. Negotiations on the purchase of the Su-34, NATO codename Fullback, and the Su-35, NATO codename Flanker E, were already going on for a while, but so far no contract was signed. With this contract, Algeria will become the first country on the southern shore of the Mediterranean to have stealth planes and fifth-generation aircraft after being the first to introduce fourth-generation planes. 
International Media Today confirms information about the acquisition of the Su-57. After the most recent MAX 2019 air and trade show, the contract negotiations gained momentum, now including the newest Su-57, Felon, Sukhoi design. If, or when, the aforementioned is realized, at all, it will give the Russian military aviation industries an enormous boost. Export orders like this usually ensure further development of aircraft and weapons, this time especially for the Su-57. Russia definitely needs export orders to stimulate the production of its own fleet too. In 2018 and 2019, Su-57 fighter jets were tested in combat conditions in Syria. Another interesting fact is that the Su-57 jet is designed in a way allowing its close coordination with the Okhotnik heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle under development for the Russian military. The Su-57 jet is already in serial production for the Russian Aerospace Forces. The Russian military seeks to receive a total of 76 Su-57 fighters by 2028.